Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ted again, your yoga guy, and thanks Tony for asking me to share what gives me so much pleasure, the yoga practice. But specifically today, we are going to work on a few things that are gonna help open up your spine. So typically, low, people have lower back trouble. If you have lower back trouble, it may not necessarily be the spine itself. It might be tighter quadriceps. It might be tighter hamstrings. It might be tighter hip flexors. So we're gonna do three or four things, and also it might be a little bit less use in the abdomen. So we're gonna do a little bit of core, in just 10, 15 minutes, a little core, and then stretch the quads, stretch the hamstrings, stretch the hip flexors, and then whammo, you're gonna have a nice little healthy back. So thanks Tony for letting me uh, be a part of your your fans and share this with your friends and your fans. So let's start in downward facing dog. Go ahead and have your hands shoulder distance, fingers spread, palms flat, feet about hip distance, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Take a, for your first moment, bend your left leg, push your right heel down right away, breathe. As you breathe and you soften and you push the heel down, you wanna feel this back of the calf, back of the hamstring, back of the knees, in the sit bone. So lift the butt up as you push the heel down. It should go much deeper. Switch sides, same thing. Hold it, breathe. Feeling the back of the calf, feeling the back of the hamstring, feeling the back of the knee. Ooh. Why is it so tight? Why is it so tight, mommy? <laughs> Go ahead and take the right leg up. Nice big inhale. Some core strength right here. Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose. Hold it. One, two, three. Lift it back and up. Same thing, you're gonna cross your body. Knee to your left side. Hold it. One, two, three. Lift it back and up. Same thing to your right. Hold it. One two, three, that's it. Lift it and then step it all the way forward. So it might not get all the way forward. You gotta kinda hop it all the way forward. Then you're gonna drop your back knee down, come up and we're gonna, that's all the core we're gonna do. But we're gonna, we're gonna do the other side too. So don't, you're not out of the woods yet. But go ahead and sink this hip forward. So this is our hip flexor stretch. All right, if I show you from this angle, Right, I'm just sinking forward. If you needed cushion for the back knee, you can always double up your mat or put a towel. You can grab the outside, do this, put a towel down, it's fine. But again, this hip flexor, especially for those of us that sit on a regular basis, whether you're driving or working and you have to sit at a desk, this is a great, great, great pose to do. Starts in the hip flexor. We're gonna take just about 30 more seconds. I want you to just sit and breathe and soften. Ah, you have to really feel it out. So there's kind of three main things. You breathe and you soften and you stretch a little bit more. And if the body opens up, you breathe and you soften and you stretch a little more. All right, now we're gonna take this into a deeper quadriceps stretch, if you can. So again, cushion on the back knee and you could just lean in forward and drop the hips down. This would be sort of the easier option, but some of you I know can reach back, take this foot, turn it. So notice I'm turning the foot, just that's it. And then it's easier to grab. Then you square the hips again, and this becomes a deep, deep quadricep, quadricep stretch. <laughs> As I sink down, hi, yay, 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 yay. However, because we don't do this on a regular basis, this is part of the reason that the lower back gets a little bit tighter. So I want you to sit into that stretch, lift the heart up, breathe deep, lean back. One more big breath. Oh. Very good, and then you're gonna release it. We're gonna step that right leg back. We're gonna go right to downward facing dog. No vinyasa. We're gonna, especially if you have back trouble, avoid vinyasas, avoid big, big vinyasas. 
From here, take a moment, bend your left leg, push that right heel down, give it a big, big stretch. And then we're just gonna kinda step that left leg forward. Uh, nope, we're not gonna do that. Lift your <laughs> left leg up. We gotta do our core on this side, Ted. What are you thinking? Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong, hold it. One, two, three, and lift it. And then forward, knee to your right side, hold it. One, two, three, lift it back and up. Forward to your left, hold it. One, two, three, and lift it again. And then all the way forward to the hands. Scoot that foot up there, drop the back knee, double up the mat if you need to, get a little extra cushion, and breathe. Ah, very good, then sink in forward, and just soften. Check it out, how does it feel? How's that body working for you these days? <laughs> Is your plan to just make it through to your dying days, or is your plan to actually thrive until you get there? My sense is, if you're watching this, it's the latter. So you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention to how you feel, how hard you work, how much you push yourself, mm -hmm, arguably, how much you recover, how well you recover. A couple more breaths. <clears throat> You can take this arm up now, lift up a little bit taller, lean back, take an inhale. Oh, and then you're gonna come forward. Remember, you're gonna turn that back foot. See, that's that. all I did was just turn the back foot down. So I haven't lifted it up. Oftentimes when you just lift it from here, the hamstring can cramp. So I want you to turn it first. Then if you can, you reach back here and almost get that foot. Put a little, little lift, you got it. And then hips forward, dropping that quadricep down. If this does not work for you, you stay in the lunge without grabbing the foot. But this is definitely more quadricep stretch. Breathe deep. And I know I'm crunching my face right here, but I don't want you to do that. <laughs> Just soften and breathe. <sighs> it's, I know it's tough, it's tight, but it's helping. I promise it's helping. A few more breaths. So we're doing 30 to 45 seconds in each of these poses. You could do more if you felt like you wanted to. That's it, one more breath. Good, and then release. We're gonna go back to down dog, slowly. Hobble your way back to downward facing dog. <laughs> Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Take a moment, bend your right leg this time and push that left heel down. So we did the other side. And breathe into that stretch. So we did our hip flexor, we did our quads, we did a little core. Now, just a quick hamstring stretch. Take the right leg, step it forward, scoot it forward, get it up there somehow, some way. And then straighten the front leg, flex the foot. Bend the knee, drop the hips. You got it. Straighten the leg, flex the foot. Bend the knee, drop the hips. Keep that going. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to do some external rotation with that leg. You roll to the outside of the foot. Externally rotate the leg. Then bend the knee forward. Externally rotate the leg outside of the foot. Turns out you're feeling it more on the outside of the hamstring. Again, external rotation. Two more. External rotation. One more. External rotation as you straighten the leg. Now, internal rotation. Straighten the leg. Internal rotation. Bend the knee. Internal rotation. Oh, bend the knee. Internal rotation. Oh, the inside of the hamstring is so tight. Two more. Internal rotation. Bend the knee. Internal rotation. Bend the knee. Good. Now down the middle three times, just like you started. Oh, oh wow, Johnny. Look at that. So much more space in my hamstrings. Wow, I just did these little few little movements. So fantastic. 
Go ahead and change the legs. Step that right leg back. Take a moment, bend the left leg, push that right heel down. You wanna solidify that newfound strength back, the newfound length back there. And then step your left leg forward. And like before, hip hamstring stretching. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot. And it doesn't have to straighten. I say straighten the front leg. You just want that direction. If you're tighter, you know, just a little bit of movement is good as long as you feel a stretch. All right. Two more. Straighten. Bend. Oh, yeah, papa. Straighten. Bend. And now external rotation. So external rotation. Bend the knee. External rotation. Bend the knee. Keep it going. External rotation. Bend the knee. External rotation. Bend the knee. External rotation. Bend the knee. And now our internal rotation. So internal. And then bend the knee. Internal rotation. Yes. Bend the knee. Internal rotation. Why does it hurt so much? Bend the knee. <laughs> internal rotation. Bend the knee because it needs love. It needs love. One more. Internal rotation. Bend the knee. And then a few times right down the middle. Straighten the leg. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Feel better? I think so. I hope so. Feels better for me. A little bit more space in there. All righty. That's it. Go ahead now. Step that leg back. Right to down dog, bend your right leg, push that left heel down, give it a big, big, big stretch. Oh, done. That's it. That's it, you guys. Look at that. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and you have a new back, or at least more open hamstrings, more open hip flexors, and more open um, quadriceps. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Tony, for letting me do this. You can find me either on, click the link down below or at Teddy McDonald on all your social media. And I've been streaming live, doing all kinds of yoga uh, for a long time now. So join me there. Otherwise, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you soon.